Hey, what's up guys? It's um, Monday morning and I do my Hyzentra infusions, subcutaneous infusions um, on Mondays and Thursdays right now. So getting ready to prep for the infusion today. I'm just gonna show you kind of what that looks like. There you go. Get my box of stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting all we need. So in this bag is the infusion pump. So that's that guy right there. We've got, these are our um, vented spikes for filling our medicine. I use um, 25 grams. So we actually need three of these. So package of four. Package of three. Put those two up. A little bit of alcohol. Clean my hands. Feed. This is the flow rate tubing. Maybe one of those. There we go. The actual needle. Subcutaneous needle package. Comes with five of those already on there. So we need those. Get some band-aids out. Alcohol prep. Those. We need a few of these for the wipe off the medicine vials as well as clear or clean the sites where the needles are going to be injecting. I think that's pretty much it for that box. So again we've got our syringes that are gonna hold the medicine flow rate tubing. The vented spikes for drawing up the medicine. The actual subcutaneous um, needles for injection. Um, Band-aids for the sites. And then alcohol preps. Okay, so now, gotta get this bag. So we're gonna have, we're gonna have a four, a one, And two tens. Right. So now we get our medicine. We're ready to draw that up. I've already washed my hands, so now I'm ready to start drawing up the medicine. So. gets recorded there's a barcode on here that actually records the medicine information and what you use for each uh, infusion okay we've got our, our vials our two tens our four and our one out so we'll take the caps off of these Syringe, open that up, and we'll open 
got a vintage spike. And the vintage spike has a vent cap and then there's a blue cap for where you screw it on. So you gotta take both of those off. The, and the vintage bike is plastic, but it's still sharp, so. All right. Need to wipe off the top of these bottles here with the alcohol pressure. Just give it a good rub along the top. Make sure it's okay. Should be clear. Shouldn't be yellow or anything like that floating in there. So that looks good. And you can basically just leave it sitting on the table and push this right to the top. So. I'm going to draw up the last vial, which will have the, uh, the four and the one gram. Or draw the last syringe, which has the four and the one gram vials. These are a little harder because uh, they're smaller, so you gotta kind of push a little harder to get the vented spike in there, and then pull back to get the mess in the drawer out. I can kind of see how far that spike sticks up in there. You'll probably have to pull that back a little bit. the four gram, here's the one gram. Same thing here. This file is even smaller. So I'm gonna have to pull back.
Right. So now I've got my medicine prepped in those three syringes. I'll get the air out once we get set up. And then I'm ready to get my sights ready. Okay. So I've kind of got my infusion table set up and my syringes, my alcohol prepped, all that good stuff. And then I've opened my um, bag of needles, which is kind of wound up like this. So then we need to kind of unwind those and take them apart. I got a visitor gonna help me with the infusion, evidently. Uh-uh, get back. These have your, these are each of your subcutaneous needles. So that little rubber band comes off and then those wings spread apart. And there is a needle cap that you pull off. And then there's a um, shut off. I don't know what those are called. Uh, and then you just rip this plastic part in half uh, to release the rest of the tubing. So that's what that looks like. Okay. So now I've got my shorts kind of prepped where I've run uh, three of the injections through my shorts and underwear so that if I have to go to the bathroom, it makes it easy uh, to pull those off. Um, and then the other three are going to go on my stomach. So I'm gonna do three in my stomach and three in my leg today. And then here is the connection that will hook up to the flow rate tubing and then into the pump. Uh, so that's what those kind of look like. And then I'll show you what these leg injections look like once I get them taken off. We got a helper. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we've got this ready. And we're gonna pull the cap off and then put it in here right after I clean off my leg. I need to do that first. So I'm kind of, I did my last set of infusions kind of more in here, so I'm kind of moving over a little bit. Get back, get back. Go on, Amos. Just kind of squeeze the area and then hold it in. Get back, guys. Go on. And then we cover it with whatever this stuff is. Can't remember what it's called. just to keep the needle in. And then if you have hair like me, when it comes off, you'll, you'll know about it. All right, so that was the first one. <laughs> Get back. Go on, go on. And then once I get them all done, Okay. So now I've got my flow rate tubing. I've got all my sights set up. And I'm about to hook my flow rate tubing up to my sight tubing. So get this undone, get these screwed together. And then I'll leave this cap on until I prep my syringe. I'm gonna unscrew the vented spike 
and then slowly get the air out of here. There will be a little bit of IG bubbles and stuff, but that's okay. Alright, that's good enough. So now I'm screw this slow rate tubing cap. Hook it up to my syringe. And then got my pump, and my pump is already wound up. The um, plunger is all the way in the back back here. Um, so just take this in, stick it all the way in like that until this is back behind where that holds it. And then we are ready now. We've got all our caps undone, or all our stoppers undone. And then we just turn this to on. And that's it. So we started the infusion, it's 12.20 right now. So we'll mark that.